Puma has always been about, with the grinders in particular, it's always been about accuracy and more on the mass production side of things. So if somebody's going to produce in maybe a small handful of types of components, but lots and lots and lots of them, then this machine is built for that. Richard, Akuma, grinding machines. I didn't know it, some people may, but yep. for those like me that didn't, can you explain what we've got here? And let's talk about that journey with Akuma and their grinding machines, because I didn't know it. Yep, okay, so the machine that we have here in particular on, the, on our showroom at the minute is the GP15W. So, it's tiny. Yeah, it's very tiny. It's one of the smallest platforms they do for an external grinding machine. Um, this is a planar type, hence the P in the GP. So this is more for diameter grinding. Uh, they do an A version, angular, so GA version, for doing diameter and faces. Uh, again, very common for different, different manufacturers. Okay, I was curious as to the size of the market for this type of machine in the UK. Mm -hmm. And we reckon that maybe around 100 machines are, are sold a year. So there's a big opportunity here for Akuma and NCMT, isn't it? Yeah. And if you were involved in, in challenging for one of those orders, what would you be promoting about this particular model? And maybe what Akuma you believe do differently to some of the others? Yeah, I mean, Akuma has always been about, with the grinders in particular, it's always been about accuracy and more on the mass production side of things. So if somebody's going to produce in maybe a small handful of types of components, but lots and lots and lots of them, then this machine is built for that. That's the, you know, one of their main aims is mass production of ground components on Akuma's grinders. Right, important point then on that. If you're running these machines, um, you know, for, for hours and hours unmanned, or continuously, yep. you've got to be able to, precision is everything, isn't it? You've got to maintain that yeah, yeah. continuously. What's this machine got on it? How's it made? And what enables you to be able to provide that as a solution to a customer? Okay, so there is lots of aspects to those, those comments there. So um, how do you keep and maintain the measurement accuracy? So many options with these machines. One of them in particular is the in-process gauge in which grinders have. The in-process gauging is a Marpos Unimar system, so basically a fork-type system that goes over the component, but it's measuring it as you're cutting it, so once it gets down to certain sizes, it can then start to back the wheel off in feed rate until it gets to the size, and then it will spark out, and then it will come away. So it's constantly keeping that a track on the measurements. Uh, other things about the machine itself is hydrostatic guideways, so pumping a film of oil in there, so that is floating around on a film of oil, so you're not getting any of that stick slip that you get on different other guideways. Um, the wheel bearing itself, it's a very unique wheel bearing, it's a tri-lobe st uh, style bearing, so it can pump oil into different chambers to take out any imbalance you may have in the wheel, again to generate a very accurate component. Okay, what you guys are good at here at NCMT is not just supplying the machines, Correct. but automating them, providing a complete engineering solution. Um, yep. This particular machine here is going to have something attached to it or yep. interface to it that does exactly that, isn't it? We yeah, can't yeah. see it, but you can tell us about it. Yeah, yeah. So we've got our own in-house designer. So he has designed this uh, piece of automation to fit within the machine itself. So it's not an external automation. It fits within the machine itself to automate the process of one of our customers' components. Okay, so you're grinding, taken out, new one in, yep. in and out, continuous, as we discussed, that unmanned yep. run but importantly, maintaining those surface finishes and those really precise tolerances. Can yeah, yeah. you mention what you're achieving on some yeah, of these Yeah, so parts? I mean, typically we, we've got many different customers. You know, we've got some customers in the north there trying to achieve uh, four microns uh, tolerance on a diameter. Other customers have got one and a half microns roundness we're trying to achieve. So there's lots and lots of different customers with different challenging tolerances. Okay, come talk to NCMT about uh, their grinding solutions from Akuma. Um, I found out a lot today and I learned a lot as well. And um, I say this machine's tiny, but there's more than this, isn't it? They go bigger as well. So plenty of options yeah. available. There and well. there is also the internal grinders as well. So we've got our internal grinding range as well as the external grinding range. Wow. Learned something else as well. Uh, talk to NCMT, uh, ncmt.co.uk.